Slack Attack. Hey, how y'all doing? Welcome back to the Major Slack Attack, your first stop for titillating tactical gaming. And here we go with another Bonsai Stealth Run. This time, the sucker is the Border Observation Post Outpost. It's rated as hard. Three alarms. This was about half a day's work and easily easily a dozen practice runs. Strike that. Does a dozen practice runs and then about the same number of recorded runs, half of which were ruined and half of which were successful. And this is the best run out of the successful runs, okay? The successful undetected runs. And um, <laughs> no mercy on the karate citizens on the way to the outpost because they ruined so many of my recorded runs. You know, there's like a karate, you know, like this that guy really flies in. <laughs> uh, yeah, they, they ruined so many runs. They're ahead of me in a car and they go roaring into the roaring by the outpost. They engage the outpost and then that's it. All the enemies in the outpost are drawn out of position and there goes all my carefully laid plans. So, you know. Exit the game, reload my save, restart the game, and curse every karate citizen I see henceforth, you know. Yeah, so that's why it was no mercy. And I actually did a karma event here, so I think I'm gonna have some net KP here. Despite all the innocent civilians I killed. And that line from Unforgiven immediately comes to mind when the sheriff is talking to the hooker and he goes, Innocent! Innocent at what? <laughs> yeah, that's, that's my opinion of these karate citizens. And their, their maniacal suicidal tendencies. Yeah. Okay, so here we go. Right before the outpost. Best run, Bonsai Stealth. Almost cracked a minute. As usual, I try to start with uh, anybody in an elevated position. Because that gives you the best chance of remaining undetected. Anybody who's got like, you know, who's high up, who's got eyes on the whole camp. And I'm waiting for this guy here. He's key to this whole strategy. Wait for him to go down the stairs, right when he reaches above the bottom of the stairs. That's just about right. This guy starts coming out to the death from above on him. Originally I disabled the alarm, but I decided to do with it. To forget about that because it screws up the timing. This guy's coming over here. We can do a death from above on him. Next is the heavy. He's always over there taking a whiz. And he got alerted because check this out. I'm not even in sneak mode. I didn't notice this, eh? This is this was a mistake. I didn't mean to do this. I'm not showing off or anything. This is just totally a mistake. And I'm throwing some C4 over there as kind of like a failsafe to distract um anybody. See he notices me too because I'm I'm not in sneak mode. <laughs> sneak! Sneak! I don't need no stinking sneak! Sneak is for pussies. <laughs> Snipe him. Snipe him. And finish out the heavy, the last heavy with the C4. Oh, yeah, the C4. Well, oh, that C4, and that's it. One minute and five seconds. I almost cracked him in it. Banzai Stealth, Borderer, Observation Post, down and out. And that was a whole lot of fun. Now, um, I got a lot of footage, eh? Like I said, I spent half a day doing this. So there's a ton of footage and some wild stuff happened, you know, in all the other runs. So I took the best uh, outtakes 
and I threw them together in a little um, outtake run at the end of this video. Video, Okay, so I'm going to show you that. And I'm going to sign off now. I'd like to thank you all very much for watching. And don't forget to give me a thumbs up and enjoy the outtakes. Get some! 